so much nice memories. Damn it, we need to stop the Metallica music, otherwise we get the copyrights claim from YouTube, right Dominic? I hope not. We hope not. Anyway, it's the new week and it's time for a new vlog. And it's the first week of 2018. So, happy new year everybody and good luck in the new year. And I am ready to go full throttle again for the next 12 months. But before I do that, let's revive some memorable moments from 2017 since it was an epic season for me and my Rock On team. We went to three different continents, over 13 different countries, made 50 shows, blew up 20 tires, filmed over 5000 gigabytes of material, published our biggest video project Ride and Slay and I went for the first time to the country Myanmar. An epic season and plenty more memorable moments that we're gonna talk now in the vlog. I love wrenching on the bikes and tuning their performance and my favorite tuning moment of 2017 was when we updated the cooling system on my RC390 drift bike. Since we had the overheating issue when I was drifting the hell out of that bike and we did it first try, which is not always the case when you're tuning the bikes. So here it is. Tune radiator is on, all the cable is connected and it's ready for the first test. Let's switch the key, not so. <laughs> There have been some mouses in this engine for the past three winters, Dominic. Since you're already wrenching and we are here in my garage, let's talk about some cool workshops I visited this year. And the first that is coming on my mind is the KTM Mexico workshop. Why? Because it's so huge, I could even do some cool tricks in it. Fuel is okay. Let's ride. The second favorite workshop I've been this year is the Kramer Motorcycle Workshop. Why is it amazing? Because it has a lot of amazing race bikes in it with good solutions, with amazing development and really interesting parts they developed with their team. And the boys working there, they really know what they're talking about. And they even gave me their race bike for a quick spin. And that deserves a place in our vlog. a proper sound man oh, for that one I need to sit down from the workshops 
to the most stupid fun idea of the recent season. Finally I got my hands on the Super Duke but I made a weird decision. Usually you take this bike to a racetrack or a nice twisty road but I choose a beach. Yes, a beach. And this is what happens when you tell me, Rock, you can do whatever you want with that bike. So I went to a nice beach in Costa Rica and we went wide open, full throttle on a nice long stretch of a sandy beach. And I did some cool drifts. The only thing what was missing were some adventure type of tires so I could go faster or do even better drifts. Don't worry guys, this bike is still working, but it is still the most stupid idea of 2017. talk about shows. Shows are my favorite and my main thing in my career since it's also bringing bread on my table. People like to ask me, Rock, which is your favorite show in your career? And this question is really hard to explain or answer since every show is unique in its own way. Some have a huge crowd, some are done on a special location, some are really bad due to bad condition or rain or slippery surface or whatever. And some have a special moment that happened on the show. The most memorable show of the last season wasn't actually a big international show, it was a kind of a surprise show. We've been in a small town in Philippines called Bacolod and with my team we could lay on the beach and just relax, but we chose let's go surprise some locals. So we went to a ghetto area and we wanted to create a magical, unforgettable experience for the locals that they will never forget in their lives. I think we succeeded from the feedback from their faces, but it's not what we delivered to them, it's about what they gave. And they gave back a reminder where I come from and to stay humble, to keep pushing every day and to be fearless. And I have still every second of that cheering in my head, I remember everything. So thank you for that Bacolot people, I hope I will be back soon with my new stunt bike and to throw another cool party. Another cool moment was when we returned with Dominic back home from a long tour just before summer started and we went free riding with the 690 Duke in our capital city Ljubljana. We cruised around the city and after that we found a really cool location where I jumped my steel stock 690 Duke on some stairs and I finally could use my trial skills.
what is your favorite trick of 2017? Oh, that's, that one is an easy one, the no-hander trick. I made it, I'm still learning it, but it's by far the best feeling when you do the trick with no hands, so that one is my favorite trick of the last season. My favorite moment was definitely the Philippines, but the first favorite moment is when we come to that temple in Myanmar. Magical. This with the girls with the, there, with the right? girls, yeah. This was like in an Indiana Jones movie, so <laughs> inspiring. So we live for that moment, we work for that moment. On this epic adventure, we meet a lot of interesting people that we rode bikes together. Build bikes together. And we meet future collaborators. 2017 year was a great learning process with a lot of cool experiences. So sincere thank you, my rockers, for all the motivation and cool ideas for the future vlogs. 2018 is here, so buckle up and get ready. It's the year for the Rock On Vlogs. So see you in the next one. Hit the subscribe button, like, share. Thanks for the support and see you in the next one. Until then, Rock On. Rock, what's the deal with your stunt scooters? I'm reviving them since they didn't run for a really long time. So let's see what happens.